This is the fourth year of the Game Changer Awards, which was set up by the Women's Sports Trust, sponsored by Microsoft, to say, right everybody, women's sport is fantastic, business should say so, athletes should say so, journalists should say so if they believe in it. And it's a phenomenal event, huge buzz, and we always come away with loads of different ideas to make sports sing for women. Well, do you know, Alice, I've seen what it's done for it, even in that short time. It started off with um, a, a sort of chat to the four women captains of sport. And then it's just gradually grown and grown and grown. More sports have got into sponsoring women's sport, which is crucial, because if they don't have the money to really put on a show and market it, then you're not going to have the people coming up to watch it. But I've also seen sports women gain so much confidence and Claire Balding always gives everybody a lecture, so the whole thing, in the nicest possible way, <laughs> and the whole thing really does make you feel like women's sport has nothing to apologise for. It is the coming event and we should really get on with it. I am I'm a great believer in local, so people just going out, opening their door and doing something sporty. And that's one of the initiatives, you know, a local initiative that can really make a difference to those people around you. And I also think that the one I love best, naturally, is the one that says which athlete is a major role model. And that means not somebody who's just great at their sport, but somebody who takes it by the scruff of the neck, gives back, as so many of them do. Alex Danson, Sarah Story set up her own team. She's sunk her own money into it. She's probably deprived her poor daughter of all sorts of, uh, you know, CBeebies <laughs> treats and God knows what. But she's put her money where her mouth is. Her husband supports her. And I think the athletes really are the ones that carry the, the sort of stardust with them. sickens me is the fact that I started out in sports journalism in would you believe the late 1970s <laughs> when there were just none there was one woman Julie Welsh doing it for the Observer I think she was a secretary who'd won a prize uh, you know <laughs> I ask you and I look round and I look at newspapers and I still see a massive preponderance of men and I just think what happened to the idea that anybody can do anything there is absolutely no reason why a woman can't turn up and report sport write features about sport make films about sport television is much better the newspaper industry has been scandalous and I also think women's magazines it really disappoints me that they don't see the huge opportunity to do something about sport because it's not just sport it's about all of life. You know, everybody in sport has got a story to tell that covers life, death, children, you name it. And I think we're all a little bit blinkered. Okay, three words. Persist, persist, persist. <laughs> because you will, you know, as in acting, receive loads of knockbacks. People can't be bothered, people haven't heard of you. My view is that if you've got a great idea, believe in it and just keep doing it because somebody will eventually realise, my God, there's someone young and cheap, let's use them. It's a tremendous advantage people have at the outset. And uh, don't give up, just do not give up.